Daddy's Big Big Family. Written by Seamus Kirst. Illustrated by Karen Bunting. It was finally time to leave. Dad and Daddy helped me pack up my suitcase and load it into our car. Seatbelts? Check. Snacks? Check. Sunglasses? Check. It was time to hit the road. We were going to our first family reunion. We drove far, far away to a big park with a long, windy river. I could see 10, 20, 50 people. All these people are our family? I asked. You bet, said Dad. It's family time, said Daddy. A kid my age ran up to us. Hi, he said. I'm Noah. I'm Harper, I said. You two are second cousins, said Daddy. Noah's mom is my first cousin. We are family. I can't believe you're my family and I never met you before, I said. Noah scratched his chin. I always thought family are the people you live with. So everyone here has to live with us? Noah and I got busy playing all the games and making sure we knew who every person was. We tied in the potato sack race and we were on opposite teams in the volleyball game. We met more and more family members at each activity. How were we going to fit everyone in one house? There were so many people I already knew, like Grandma and Grandpa, and Aunt Leslie, Uncle Ron, and their three kids, Lyle, India, and Ruby. There was my older cousin, Lisa, who lived with her husband, Bruce, and her stepkids, Michael and Jillian. Then there were the people I was meeting for the very first time, like Rita, who said she was Daddy's first cousin once removed, and my first cousin twice removed. She lived all on her own. There was great aunt Trudy who was raising her grandkids, Tessa and Phil, and so many more. I kept wondering if everyone was actually our family. We were all so different. My cousins, India and Ruby, were the best at the water balloon toss, <laughs> but their big brother, Lyle, dropped his every time. <laughs> But Lyle's chalk drawing looked like it could be in a museum, and India and Ruby just drew silly stick figures. And first cousin twice removed Rita's name tag said Rita Rogers, even though this was supposed to be the Humphrey family reunion. Different people can look different and have different talents, even in the same family, explained Dad. And because some people change their last names when they get married, they can even have lots of different last names. I promise everyone here is our family. But Noah and I still had a problem. Our list of family kept getting longer and longer. Where would we all live? Noah already lived with his mom and his foster sister, Petra. <laughs> And of course, I already lived with Dad and Daddy. Noah's house only has three bedrooms, and mine only has two. Neither house seems big enough. Would I have to share my room? Whose house rules would we follow? I'm only allowed to watch one TV show a day, and Noah can only watch movies on weekends. Noah goes to bed at 7.30, and I can stay up until eight. I set the table and Noah helps dry the dishes. Noah's after school snack is a cheese stick and apple and mine is celery sticks with peanut butter and raisins. Noah and I both have to clean our rooms once a week. So that rule will apply for everyone no matter what. Um, if everyone here is family, and families live together, are all of these people going to move into our house or Noah's? Daddy smiled. No one has to move. Everyone here is our extended family. It's like 
Lots of smaller families who are all connected into one big family. It's like a big web. Extended family can be grandparents, great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, great-aunts, great-uncles, cousins, and second cousins, added Dad. They can live with you, or near you, or very far away. Even in our big family, all of the little families are so different, I said. Every family is like a snowflake, said Daddy. Even if one looks the same as another from far away, each is completely unique when you get up close. So all these little families are connected to our big family web? That's right, said Daddy. Sometimes people are in the same family web because they are related. And sometimes our family is also the people we choose. But one thing is the same in every family, said Dad. Every family is connected by love. I will always love and choose you, I said to Dad and Daddy. And we will always love and choose you too. I went back to play with Noah happy to know new family members and happy that I would not have to share a room, except for cousin sleepovers. The end.